Hello. In today's demonstration we will show a new component available in Typhoon Hill Control Center. Starting from software version 2021.2, our microgrid library includes a detailed model of an SCL 751 feeder protection relay. The main purpose of the SCL 751 component is to study system stability and protection coordination in power system and microgrid applications with an unprecedented level of fidelity. An example model demonstrating the functionality of the new component can be found in our installation folder. Let's navigate to it from our example explorer, going inside the microgrid collection of models, and into the SEL751 folder. The model is made using our standard generic microgrid components. At the top of the schematic, we have a grid connected to its own user interface component. In the middle, we have a protection relay component which is receiving measurements from the three-phase meter and sending commands to the three-phase contactor. The contactor also sends its status as a feedback to the relay. At the bottom, we have a generic variable load with its own user interface component. If we look under the mask of the SEL751 subsystem, we can see that it consists of four building blocks. The first building block is the user interface, which contains SCADA inputs for receiving commands, and different probes for sending the readings to the SCADA. The block in the middle is the most important one, as it configures the SCL751 protection logic. In the General tab we have options to set nominal secondary current, nominal frequency, and secondary voltage input configurations. In the Configuration tab we have the ability to load standard configuration files. It is important to notice that those are the very same files that the real relay is using. Let's load the configuration files that come with our installation. In the Extras tab you can set the execution rates, but for this demonstration we can leave it on default values. The two blocks on the right apply a simple logic that serves as the interface between the relay and the rest of the model. Let's compile and load the model. After loading the model in Hill SCADA we can open a pre-made SCADA panel. It consists of three parts, the grid interface, the load interface, and the SEL751 interface. After starting the simulation, we can see the SEL is in the nominal state with a voltage level of 470 volts, and the nominal frequency of 50 Hz. The load consumes 400 kW of similar amount of reactive power. Inside the SEL751 subpanel we have several LEDs that can be used for observing the status of the relay and help determine the type of fault when a trip occurs. In addition to those, we have four buttons which can be used for sending direct commands to the relay. The sub-panels in the home widget group contain several different screens which can be used for observing the measurements and statuses of the relay. For this demonstration we will use the simplest one, Bay Screen. Inside it we have the status of the breaker and measurements of the phase currents. Let's now switch to the load interface and observe what happens when we increase the active power reference. As you can see, the current measurements inside the relay bay are rising consistently. Since the overcurrent protection is set to 1200 amps, we can try to increase the load reference to 90%. Now, the relay has reacted and disconnected the load from the grid. If we go back to the SCL interface, we can see that the instantaneous overcurrent protection has reacted. If we reset our relay, we can see that the load ramps up its power consumption back to its previous value and consumes the reference amount of power until the overcurrent trip delay of 1.4 seconds completes. It is important to mention that this is only a small part of the functionality of the new SCL751 model. To find more about it, you can consult the Typhoon Hill documentation.
If you have any additional questions or topics that you would like us to cover let us know in comments. Thank you for watching.